Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Costa Fierce Monster High doll and making her into Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice. So I used an X-Acto knife to remove some of the extra or excess plastic from the body. And then there was a little peak of the dress. And now I'm removing the hair. Once the hair is removed, then I'm going to remove the paint with the pure acetone and give her a little paint on the scalp before I root her. So I'm going to root her with some curly mohair that I purchased on Etsy. And I'm not showing the rooting process, but it is uh, similar to that that I've shown in other videos. So after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, I started on the eyes as usual. Costa Fierce's face sculpt is pretty close to what I want it to look like already so I can just follow the lines but I did go down a little bit in the corners of the eyes on the outside corners I wanted her shape to be a little bit different so adding the upper lid and waterline first what you may not be able to see when I speed up the video is that I do a lot of detail in the tear duct as well as the waterline I do some shading and bringing that uh, the corners of the light of the eyes together with uh, some light pencil marks so I'm going in with a green color for the shading and contouring and then I wanted to have some highlight there on her forehead nose cheeks and chin that I'd like to continue throughout the face up I'll go back in and keep adding to it and blending it out I want that dimension add a little, a little bit of yellow underneath the cheek now for the lips I'm using the red pan pastel and blending that out with some white in the bottom lip and the center of the upper lip trying to maintain the shape of the actual character how her lips look And then I'm refining that shape with the Crimson Red Derwent Watercolor Pencil. All of the products that I'm using are listed in the comment or the description box below. And there are affiliate links there. So if you would like to make a purchase from through that using that link, we would get a small percentage of your purchase. So just continuing to do some shading and for the nostrils I shade those in but I also try to define the shape a little bit to match that of the characters using those little micro brushes those are a lifesaver giving her an eyelid with some shading there so the character has some dark circles under her eyes and, and above them and so I'm starting on that with some blue I use about three different shades of blue some purple and green to do that blending there the closer I get to the eye the darker the color and then I carry that green out around her scalp or around her hairline and her ears and then blending that out with some colorless blender making sure I go back and maintain that white in her forehead and nose and chin and cheeks for the highlight there I want to keep that dimension if I don't keep that white it kind of the green and blue and purple will all start to start to blend together because I'm working in such a, a small space so it'll all start to blend together and it'll look really flat so I want to make sure that I give that keep that highlight going around her eye with some white to give her a highlight there blending it out with a q-tip and then I have made sure to seal before I go in with any eyebrows I always try to seal underneath first because I do a lot of erasing with eyebrows because <laughs> they're difficult for me to make sure that they're the same shape and size so I don't want to erase any of the work that I've done underneath 
while the character is dead and doesn't have a lot of blood flow, I am still going in and adding a little bit of blush to make her look a little prettier. But it's like an orangey red blush that I custom mixed with my pan pastels. Using a Q-tip and some colorless blender to blend that out. More darkening in of the dark circles. I'm adding some purple now that I've gotten closer to the eye. And in the corners, inside corners. And then I carry that out into the jawline a little bit to bring it all together. This doll is a commission piece, it ha it, so it isn't for sale, but I have added some other dolls to the shop, so check those out through the Etsy link in the description box below. My commissions are closed for a little while while I get caught up on things for conventions and sales. I've done one Beetlejuice Miss Argentina previously, and that was done with a Venus McFly trap, but this one is a Costa Fierce. So my dolls are one of a kind, but I like to do different versions of characters. So this one, I used a different base doll. And I used a different hair. I used that mohair that I got off of Etsy. So just refining those eyebrow hairs a little bit, and Soon I'll add in the pupil and more detail into the eyes. As usual, once I'm finished with all the detail, I'll give her about four or five coats of Mr. Super Clear just to make sure she has a good seal. And then I always go in and do some body blushing and detail there and put her all together. I'll add some gloss to the eyes and lips and a, and a set of eyelashes. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm currently traveling. There's a uh, video on my art studio. If you haven't seen that, check that out. It's a, uh, um, we are currently are doing some RVing and you can see how I have my art studio set up in our RV. So that's interesting. We'll put the link in the description box below there as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.